morning, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. Many of you are in the same boat as me. I got my power bill and it doubled in cost. I was expecting it to be higher because, you know, our winter here in South Dakota has been extremely cold, but I did not expect it to be double. So I dug deeper into the subject, wondering why the cost had gone up. And I discovered that um, one state over from me, in the heart of North Dakota, massive facilities are rising that consume as much electricity as entire cities, all to power the artificial intelligence revolution. North Dakota is known for oil production. I did not even imagine that there would be AI facilities there. Fly Digital Corporation, a Dallas-based company led by CEO Wes Cummins, is at the forefront of this transformation, building next-generation data centers designed exclusively for high-performance computing and AI workloads. Everything is getting so expensive. Pay for your health insurance and don't eat. Pay for your power bill and don't eat. In the community where I live, the uh, landlord raised lot rents without telling people and then sent me a late bill with late charges. There was no notification that they were going to raise uh, the rent for the lots. None whatsoever. And I believe by law, they're supposed to notify you yeah, before charging you a late fee. Yes, I did call them, and none of my phone calls were returned. Ill-gotten gains across the country. And then a power bill that was twice as high, it's like, OMG. Many of us are in the same boat trying to make ends eat. Meat. Yeah, eat. <laughs> Pay your bills or, and don't eat. Fly digital what started out as a blockchain infrastructure firm, has pivoted dramatically since its 2022 rebranding, focusing on AI factories, purpose-built campuses with advanced liquid cooling, ultra-high-density GPU racks, and near-zero water usage. These aren't your grandfather's data centers. They're engineered for the intense demand for training and running massive AI models. Applied Digital flagship projects are in North Dakota, where cool climates, abundant land, and access to reliable power make ideal locations. Our temperatures here, North and South Dakota, are uh, most often uh, during the winter below zero. So these uh, data centers, they love the cool climate. The Polarius Forge One campus in Ellendale, North Dakota, is already operational, supporting up to 400 million watts of critical IT load, enough electricity to power roughly 300,000 to 400,000 average American homes. The second site, Polaris Forge Two near Harwood, is under construction and will add another 200 to maybe 280 million watts initially, with potential to scale to 1 gigawatt, equivalent to powering nearly a million homes. To put this in perspective, 1 megawatt MW powers about 800 to 1,000 homes. 1 GW, equivalent to 1,000 MW, a scale comparable to a major metropolitan area. These facilities run 24-7 at near full capacity, with racks drawing 60 to maybe 120 kilowatts each, versus 5 to 15 kilowatts in traditional centers. Thanks to densely packed uh, Nibidibia, I've talked about them, they're going to go broke, uh, the bubble, the AI bubble. Yeah. On the Nadivia GPUs uh, that can consume over 1,000 watts per chip. The power hunger stems from AI's explosive growth. Training large models require enormous um, compute. And hyperscalers like CoreWeave, they're hurting too. That's another company that I heard. 
Um, yeah, they're hurting money wise. They're a major applied digital tenant. Uh, lease, they lease hundreds of megawatts for GPU clusters. People who live in North and South Dakota need to know about this. This is probably one of uh, the poor states. North Dakota's minimum wage is $7.25 an hour, while South Dakota's minimum wage is $11.85 an hour. For the middle class there in North Dakota, the average yearly income is about $88,000 a year, while here in South Dakota, it has actually dropped to about $79,000 a year. That's for the middle class. It has dropped here in South Dakota. It was originally $81,000 annually a year, but now it's only $79,000 a year. Applied digital current commitments exceed 600 million watts with a pipeline of over 1.4 gigawatts and multiple billion dollar contracts backing expansion. Their designs achieve a power usage effectiveness, PUE, around 1.18, one of the industry's lowest. They acquire this because of a closed loop liquid cooling and strategic site selection. Like I said, it's a lot colder here. New sites proposals extend beyond North Dakota, including potential sites in South Dakota, signaling broader ambitions. As AI demands skyrocket, companies like Applied Digital are quietly reshaping America's energy landscape. Yeah, I had to do some digging to find out about this. Turning remote planes into the powerhouse of tomorrow's intelligence. Yeah, they don't give a rat's you-know-what ASS about the standard of living for the people here in North Dakota or South Dakota. I have not seen anything in the local news about these uh, data centers that they're building. Why? Well, I think people would be outraged about their new power bill. Like I said, mine was double in cost. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Pay your power bill and don't eat or whatever. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this if you know people in North and South Dakota. Um, as always, be prepared, and I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all.